Hello everybody, Dr. Anita Kunnaya, Senior Consultant Gynecologist, Laparoscopic and Robotic Surgeon from Yashoda High Tech Hospital. Today we are discussing a topic called as endometriosis. Why do we need to know about this? 1 in 10 of women suffer with this condition called as endometriosis. It is a chronic painful condition. Every one of us should be aware of this. What is endometriosis? Normally, uterus has three layers, inner layer, middle and the outer layer. Inner layer is called as endometrioma, middle is called as myometrium and the outer is called as perimetrium. The inner layer has a gland called as endometrial glands and these are the glands which every month cyclically produce our menstrual cycle. And normally our menstrual blood passes through the natural orifice. In endometriosis, these glands can enter our pelvic organ through the orifice that is the opening of the fallopian tube. Once they enter into the pelvic organ surface, either tubes, ovaries or surrounding organs, they cause severe inflammation, fibrosis and painful condition. This results in disturbance of our pelvic organ. What are the symptoms of endometriosis? All of us should be aware that a painful period is always not normal. Persisting severe progressive period pain, not getting less with your painkillers, rest or diet forms and even in taking some amount of medical line of therapy, this is one of the common symptoms they come up with called as severe dysmenorrhea or a painful periods. Second symptoms are chronic pelvic pain. In between your periods, if you have severe pain, continuous pain associated with bleeding, taking rest or medication that is not coming down, progressive pain, the third most condition what they come up with is. The endometriosis, if it is goes to the bowel and the bladder, nausea, vomiting, constipation and if the endometriosis comes to the bladder, that's a urine bag, you can come with symptoms of cyclical bleeding. The fourth most symptoms they come up with is painful physical relation. The fifth and the last symptom is you should understand fertility issues. Endometriosis accounts to be 50% causes of endometriosis. Though most of the couples may not come on time, by the time they reach, some of the other forms of uh, degrees of endometriosis they suffer and come with. So if you're trying for pregnancy, you're not trying to conceive, be aware of these symptoms. Why do we get endometriosis? Till date, the cause of endometriosis is not exactly known. Though a lot of researches are going on, the probable understanding what we have is a reverse flow of the menstrual blood. That is, a normal menstrual blood enters the opening of the fallopian tube and through that it enters the commonly organ adjacent our uh, ovary, posterior surface of uterus, junction between the uterus and the rectal wall, sometimes to the lateral pelvic wall. Rarely we do see this kind of endometriosis in motion pipes or in bowels or in liver and diaphragm as well. The other commonly uh, known conditions are a strong family history. If the mother or the sister or the aunt have suffered with this condition, there is a genetic link that even the daughters can have this endometriosis. However, though there are many causes explained, the condition leads to important outcome that is fibrosis, inflammation and damaging the pelvic organs. So it's very important that this condition is diagnosed early and treated on time. Take a detailed history, examine you and at the well as we get some common basic scans and then we based on that we diagnose though the gold standard is a laparoscopy where we have to visualize the direct organ in order to diagnose early endometriosis. If the endometriosis is severe already there are cysts formed in the ovary commonly called as chocolate cyst. What are the treatment of endometriosis? Mild to moderate mild conditions with small pain can be easily managed with hormonal pills or a painkillers. But severe form of a disease is like there is a chocolate cyst, there is a progressive disease, there is a severe pain associated, requires surgical intervention. Surgical therapy, often we have two modalities of therapy that is minimal invasive surgeries, laparoscopic conventional or a robotic surgery. The aim of these surgery should be based on what is the age of the patient, 
what symptoms they are suffering from are they keen of their future fertility have they come for fertility issues or they have come for symptom relief because each of these patient treatment differs if a patient is young expecting the issues of fertility we try to do conservative surgeries but our aim in principle should be to completely clear this active endometriotic lesions in moderate to severe cases if the woman has completed a family and it's a moderate to severe cases sometimes we have to go for a total surgery that is hysterectomy in a young girls with mild symptoms they can be managed with pills or a hormone therapy but to see a girl or a woman suffering because as long as you are having periods as long as the estrogen effect is there this is a progressive condition it's our responsibility to give a lot of emotional support to the women who is suffering with this condition robotic surgery is one of the advanced surgical treatment especially for endometriosis with severe endometriosis where even smaller and smaller lesions can be easily completely cleared up let us all be aware of these condition called as endometriosis come to your clinician when you have all these five symptoms notify them so that right time we diagnose right time we treat and help you to have a better quality and fertility life thank you